It could be a full-time job for a parent supporting a young tennis player. In this video, we're going to try and give you as much advice and support as we can to help you find a good balance. Uh, for the parents, don't push the kids too much. Many of you will have made big sacrifices to support your child. You may have given up hours and hours of your time to take your children to tennis tournaments. Maybe you spent lots of money on coaching or traveling. You might coach your kids yourself or you have other children and you worry that they don't get enough of your time. Tennis can take over not just your child's life, but your life and the life of your whole family. That's why it's so important to take breaks from tennis. Make sure that you speak to your child about other things in their life so they know that tennis isn't everything. Myself, I'm a father of three kids, 14, 12 and 10. They're all playing tennis and I, and I love the fact that they compete and I think tennis is uh, great for the education of life, but in parallel they need to keep up with the school and have a basic education also to remove some of the pressure of becoming a top tennis player. Remember, a very small percentage of junior tennis players make it to the pros. Make sure that they complete their education. Most US colleges require a good high school education before they'll even consider an application for a tennis scholarship. Tennis Europe has partnered with Keystone Sports to help give advice and help to tennis players who are interested in going into college in the US or anywhere around the world. Sometimes the biggest pressure for a young tennis player is worrying that they're going to disappoint you. Take that pressure away and maybe they'll play better tennis. Hi Dad, what do you think about my match? It was a very Honor. nice match. Were you nervous? A little bit, but I try to keep the, the stress under control. Don't make everything about the result of a tennis match. Make sure your first question to your child isn't, did you win? Focus on improvements, on effort, on what they did well. Here you can play four hours. He has a match four hours and 35 minutes. So he has to be calm. He has to be calm and uh, our mission, like a tennis uh, parents, and to not to frustrate the children, to calm them. Don't get caught up in the emotion of the match or the event. Keep your body language neutral. Clap good points and good shots from them and from their opponent. This is uh, more important to be uh, focused on the positive things, not the negative. It's so important to encourage your child to learn how to do things for themselves. Uh, Hockett just got his own apartment and, and this is actually why we are here now, to settle him in. And he sleeps alone in the apartment now and we stay in the hotel nearby and he is, uh, he is cooking on his own and, and the only thing he can make for now is oatmeal. But it's, it's a start and uh, we will build on with, uh, he said I really want to know how to do eggs, so this will be up next. Um, <laughs> it will come, he will grow up. When they first start out on the professional tour, they might have to book flights, book practice courts, buy food, manage their money on their own. As your child's tennis career takes shape, there may come a time to let the expert coaches, fitness trainers, and even agents do their jobs. But maybe my role will be a little less and maybe the fitness coach will travel along more, and, and, uh, but, but we take it step by step. If your child does have a coach, let the player and the coach be the boss. You might not always agree with them, but support them. It's uh, difficult to say because I'm a coach and I'm like a parent, so it's, uh, I'm trying to, to do my best, but sometimes you cannot do this because, because you know, like father and son, it's, especially when he is 14, some, sometimes it's difficult, you know, to be the coach. It's better to be the father. If a player is hearing two different messages about what to do and how to play, they will get confused and they'll get stressed. And for me, it's important that he's happy, that he feels good. It's above results, it's above everything that he's... And, and you know, as a mother, you feel instantly if your kid is happy or not. Finally, think about you Give yourself a life outside of tennis. We're going to leave you with some really good advice from Rob Barty. Rob's daughter, Ash Barty, was world number one and a multiple Grand Slam champion. 
We were very lucky in that we had um, Jim Joyce as Ash's coach. Jim, Jim had five rules for Ash when she was little and growing up, and they were, one, be happy, two, have fun, three, be a nice person, four, be respected and show respect, and then number five, if you could play tennis after that, it was an added bonus. This is more important to be person, not only to be tennis player, to be person, it's, and to learn them to be, to be humans.